Hey, this is Rebecca Dirks for PremierGuitar.com. We are here in Hollywood, California at Jimmy Kimmel Live talking to Toshi, and you play guitar in the house band every night. So if people tune in, you're the one they see back here, right? I am, yes. <laughs> um, so you've got, uh, obviously, a flying V out here, and we're going to talk about your rig. You want to tell us about this guitar? This is just a regular flying V, USA, Gibson. Um, I changed this pickup to a burst backer, um, but this, otherwise it's just a stock. Uh, is that the main one you, that you use most of the time? Or? If I change it up, you know, every night, it, it depends on the song that we play. Yeah, um, you want to go? Take yeah, let's take a look at some of the other ones and uh, just talk about kind of what you what you tend to use them for. I, um, well, this is mainly rock um, songs, and and this is gold top. It's just a 2000, I think 11, just a standard. Gibson um, Gold Top Les Paul. I use it for like rock and funk actually, and um, yeah. And and this is just a stock and didn't change anything. Um, and this is a Angus Young SG Gibson. Uh, I think it's 2009. Yeah, um, stock. Uh, rock mainly for rock songs um, and this is actually um, 1964 um, Firebird 1 and I recently purchased at the shop and it's nice and rock and roll type of guitar you know um, really love it and looks good you know Taylor this company is really good to me and um, yeah I play Taylor a guitar with it's versatile, you know, um, has nice electric to it, but it's also nice ring to it, you know. Pretty much tuning standard on everything? Yes. Um, sometimes I detunes, depends on the songs. What type of strings are you using? I play 10 to 52, um, the Darius. This is a Morgan AC20, um, has a power scaling over here, and it's, uh, it's a 20 watt and it's good size for this room and I can't really turn up that loud. Uh, and I use this uh, star amplifier cabinet. Speakers are uh, 30 watt gold uh, selection in it. I do have this Paul Reed Smith head. Uh, this is H series, um, 100, uh, 50 watt. And I sometimes use it, And I, but today I'm using the AC20. Uh, and this Morgan um, speaker has uh, two green backs in it, so it uh, depends on the data. I just switch, switched around and switch around, and that's good sending cabinets. So you just kind of switch around between the guitars and amps based on whatever songs you guys are playing yeah. at any given night? Mm-hmm, yeah. This is uh, like a local gig setup that I use, you know, uh, in town gig and also this um, gig. Uh, this is Line 6 pedal mod by uh, Keeley. Um, this is uh, BB Plus, uh, used mainly for, yeah, like a, uh, my overdrive tone is coming from here. And this is EP Booster. I just, and I change OCD time to time to um, Cot 50 by uh, Love Pedal. Love Pedal. Um, and this is Ultimate um, Octave. Uh, by full tone, but it's a kind of prototype. Um, when I got it, like a uh, back, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> um, Zvex, Distortron, and um, Voxwa, and I do have this loop here between here uh, between EP and chorus pedal so I can have another running another pedal board or just a simple one FX unit and today I'm running the Warmi 2 so I can on and in and out you know on and off right here yeah simple setup so when you're when you're putting together the rig um, do you have kind of any special considerations that you have to think about for this show in particular yeah um, my concern is um, Mid mid rangey mid mid range. We are listening to the sound from this little speaker right on TV, so I I need to have a 
definite mid to cut through and not fighting with the bass player you know Jimmy look at me sometime like <laughs> you know and uh, so and between this amp this amp has very nice mid to it and also this guy uh, BB um, uh, plus has the emphasize on the mid you know so and between those I can cut the uh, don't fight with everybody else and that uh, you can hear heard on a TV you know it can be hard on TV so that's my main concern all right so then what a uh, kind of picks are you using I use uh, fender teardrop heavy yeah and uh, I use for acoustic I use um, Jim Dunlop soft pick yeah yeah <laughs> I like this one yeah all right so now we're going to talk about the bass side of things over here at Jimmy Kimmel Live and this is also Jimmy uh, who holds down the low end uh, can you start by telling us a little bit about this bass that you're playing today well this bass I've had for about 18 years and I got it from a school it's a 1966 Fender Jazz Bass and I got it from a school as a trade and they said if I bought them a brand new Fender Jazz Bass that I could take this one. So I got them a brand new Fender Jazz Bass, you know, really, really good instrument. And they were very happy. And all I did was uh, replace the machine heads and the bridge and kept everything stock. And it's pretty much the, you know... Swiss Army knife for basses. Um, what what did you replace the bridge and tuners with? Uh, I re replaced the tuners with um, hip shots. With a with a um, the extender extender key, and then the uh, badass bridge, which is uh, my favorite bridge. Why is that? Well, because uh, it gives great sustain. And I'm just so used to it. Yeah. So, uh, what are you using the extender for? Well, it, it uh, you know, there's your E, and it brings it right down to a D. Nice. And then you can tune it up. I love it. Yeah, this is a brand new Warwick Jimmy Earl signature bass. It's a maple neck. It's got an ash body, EMG pickups, with... Uh, with a two-band EQ. It's got bass and treble. It's got LED lights. It's pretty cool. I love it. It's great. Real tight. Punchy. Very fine instrument. It's a it's a simple design. Beautiful Warwick bass. I think it's based off the Streamer LX. So, what kind of strings are you using on these guys? These, these are SR Dean Markley SR two thousands, which are taper core, medium light. I love them. They're great strings. They last forever. I change them every two weeks, I think. Nice and bright. They stay in tune. They're great. Awesome. And uh, what kind of cables are you using here? We'll just go straight you know, down the line. This is a, this it's is a curly. Basic, you know, coil cable going into my tuner. I don't use any any effects or anything because it the pedals a lot of times will rob the bass of tone so so I just plug into the tuner and plus it's good because it turns it off so when we come out of a bump you know I can just turn the bass off and you know I can still you know play play the bass but it won't make any sound and this is um, this is a Galleon Kruger 800 RB, and it is. I've been using these these amps for decades. It's a 
great basic amp, base amp. And it's uh, going into an Ampeg SVT 4x10. And it's uh, a good basic, your, you know, good punchy tone. I use it for, you know, for the stage mainly to support the band on stage. And, you know, it's just a, a DI out of the bass, you know, out of the tuner into the DI, into the, into the amp. And it's uh, going to the mixers, you know, the house mixer and the, uh, the um, um, engineer in the uh, booth that goes to air. And I think it's a Clark Technics DI box. And it's uh, very basic. Keep it. So what's the simple. little? Don't know the. There? I don't know the brand of this, but uh, it's a microphone that the engineers like to use. Gotcha. And it's just um, it just records the amp, just makes the amp. And I keep the. Uh, I dump the mid mid range out. I take the high mids out, and some low mids out. I keep the bass flat, the treble flat. And also I have a, an extension speaker going into this box here, which is very unique, which and I'll explain. This is a high-end box that was made for me by Steve Rodby of SWR. And he was the original owner and designer of all the SWR stuff. And he made me a box of just their tweeters. And what I do is I plug it into the extension speaker cabinet and it just gives me high end. But the main purpose is to tighten up the low end. So, if you notice it, it's just clicking. But when you add the main amp into it, <laughs> You know, the main purpose is to tighten up the bottom. And without it, you get this. It's a good sound, but it's, it doesn't have that top end. As I asked Toshi, when you're setting up your rig and you're tweaking everything, kind of what are you considering as far as the way the show comes across and how it's set up when you're putting together your rig and settings? Uh, mainly is the, pr the main thing I try to do is keep the volume down on stage but still support the band. Because um, that way our engineers can do their job, you know, keep, the, keep it down. Because if, if it gets too loud up here, it, it uh, washes out and, you know, and, and also it helps Bart in the, in the sound booth. Well, thank you very much for taking some time to show us what you are playing through here on the show. Thank you very much. This is Rebecca Dirks for PremierGuitar.com.